13-year-old Dana Mayron is in eighth grade. Like most girls, her favorite part of school is seeing her friends. Her least favorite, taking exams. Exams do make me nervous, especially if I don't feel comfortable with the subject. She says math tests throw her for the biggest loop. The other day I had a test and I was all nervous at first. And normally I'm nervous when I sit down and then I calm down, but I, I was nervous the whole time. So what are you looking at? Dana's a good student. She tries. She works really hard. Her mom, Leslie, remembers a simpler time. When I was in school, test taking was a lot different. I don't think there was as much pressure put on us. She feels her daughter's test taking jitters often leave Dana with grades that don't reflect her full potential. I think test taking is more stressful for the kids. I think it's much more emphasis is put on it from the teachers and from the school board. And I think the kids begin to feel it a lot. So what can parents do to help their child cope? Can these vocabulary words? Yes. Since preparation for an exam is so important, Leslie finds studying with her daughter using flashcards calms Dana's nerves. For test questions, she'll write them out um, with the word on the front and the definition on the back, and then we review from the note cards. Early morning study sessions seem to help too. We may encourage her to get up a little bit early in the morning if she still feels uncomfortable with it and just review her notes before school, not to really cram or study, but just to try and review it so she feels a little bit more comfortable going into the test. Preparation helps, but it's important to deal with test stress too. Pediatricians say one of the best ways for a child to relieve stress is through physical activities, such as a scooter or bike ride. But remember, safety still comes first. Make sure your child wears a plastic helmet, as well as appropriate plastic elbow and knee pads whenever she rides her bike or scooter to reduce the risk of injury. We raise kids to say, you don't have time to play now. And the answer might be, you don't have time not to play. You don't have time not to burn it off, because I want you to be able to think. Pediatrician Dr. Ken Ginsberg says feeding your child balanced meals can also help. When we're talking about concentrating, um, we're talking about kids not having to worry about being hungry. We're talking about kids not spiking with sugars and then coming down quickly. Nutrition is a really key, important part of being stable through the day. Here are a few more tips to help lessen test-taking pressures. First, make sure your child gets a good night's sleep the night before an exam. A well-rested child will concentrate and focus more clearly. Second, prepare a hearty breakfast the morning of the exam. You don't want your child to be distracted with hunger pains. Third, practice relaxation techniques with your child the night before, such as slow breathing to help calm his nerves. And reassure your child that being nervous is natural and he is not alone. By incorporating these coping strategies into her daily life, Dana will continue to try and control her test-taking jitters instead of letting them control her.